hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn friends in this session i will share with you how you can uh, object detect using raspberry pi 4 camera module and we will use here yolo 8 yolo 11 yolo 12 and yolo 10 okay so because a raspberry pi has released a latest bookworm so uh, if i go in accessories and raspberry pi manager uh, it's now release a latest updated operating system if I go in choose OS as you can see the release date is 2025-513 so this is what their latest Raspberry Pi bookworm operating system with the latest update the 64 bit version so how you can run YOLO on this latest OS version the bookworm 64 bit version which is released 2025-513 simple so this is latest release of bookworm 64 bit version so i have uh, i have i am basically running this latest bookworm on raspberry pi 4 so as i mentioned we will we will install yolo means we will basically install opencv we will install ultralytix and then also i will share with you how you can convert the yolo.pt model the default model into t of light model the tensorflow light model simple so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends for that i have created a new repository i will mention the link simply inside description box copy paste the link inside your browser raspberry pi camera yolo updates means we will use your raspberry pi 4 camera module to detect yolo 8 yolo 10 yolo 11 and yolo 12 simple for object detection basically so just go to the code and click on download zip it will download our zip format repository so we successfully downloaded our repository minimize the web browser then go to the file manager then go to the downloads then here you will see this is what our repository in zip format so just right click click on extract here and it will extract our repository as a folder as you can see this is what our folder just right click cut it and go to the home and then just paste it our repository folder go inside the folder so friends uh, this is basically the latest version but this is not completely fresh because I have already run all these updates so when you install completely fresh bookworm on your raspberry pi any version means there is a raspberry pi 5 also you need to first run some commands when you install completely fresh operating system so what is those commands so inside imp.txt i have mentioned all those commands so open with just text editor it will open imp.txt with the help of text editor so, so this is what our first command sudo space rm just copy as it is and then open the terminal and then just paste the command inside terminal hit enter it will remove the file because i have as i mentioned i have already run those commands that's why it says it cannot remove because i have already removed it so when you install bookworm completely fresh you need to first run this command sudo space rm slash usr lib python 3 simple and then you have to upgrade the thony python ide so run the next command copy as it is open terminal and then just paste it and hit enter it will upgrade the thony python ide with the latest version so which i have already upgraded as you can see it says requirement is already satisfied because i have already upgraded that's it so we have done with basic configuration now we can simply open our thony python ide from menu menu programming and thony so i have already opened it here it is as you can see this is what our Tony so first we need the packages so go to the tools manage packages and let's just search for opencv hyphen python opencv hyphen python and it will search for opencv hyphen python package 
so friends as you can see the first package which is opencv hyphen python select it and click on install button then it will install opencv which i have already installed then as i mentioned we will use ultra -Litics. so just search for ultra -Litics. hit enter first package and then just click on install button done it will install ultra -Litics. and then as i mentioned because we will convert the ultra .pt model into tensorflow so here we will install tensorflow also so just a search for tensor flow tensorflow and first package as you can see tensorflow click on install button done it will install tensorflow but remember one thing uh, for installing tensorflow it will take some time so we need opencv hyphen python then we need ultra -Litics, and then we need tensorflow package for running the tf light model means we will convert dot pt yolo model into tensorflow tf light so for that we need tensorflow so we have done with package installation now friends there is an error so on this latest raspberry pi bookworm there is a numpy error so we need particular numpy version for running raspberry pi 4 camera module so if you don't know how to connect and how to configure the camera module i have already created the video watch video and connect the camera module first with raspberry pi 4 so here I have already connect the camera module and as I mentioned uh, inside our repository this is what imp.txt file which we use for running all those command the first one command which we done then we upgrade our Tony then as I mentioned the numpy so we need particularly numpy this version so after installing opencv then ultra disk and then tensorflow copy the numpy command so pip install numpy and open terminal let me clear the screen clear and then just paste it and then hit enter it will remove the latest version and it will install this particularly version for camera module because if you don't install this particular version it will not run the object detection method will not work i have already tested there is an error and there is a particularly numpy error so we need this particular version for running camera module with yolo object detection simple so this is the command which i have already run now what we will do uh, we have done with package installation and all other things we will simply we will simply call our main.py so uh, i will close from here and i will simply go here file open and then we will go where we have our repository raspberry pi camera yolo updates main and this is what our main.py let's just click on ok and it will open our main.py so as i mentioned we will cross check with all the versions so first let's just start with yolo yolo v8 and dot pt which is the nano model perfectly for raspberry pi 4 simple so uh, let's just save it and here uh, this is what our pi camera as you can see the pi cam i have mentioned here from pi camera 2 so this is what our pi camera and then a result is equal to model dot track so here we will mention uh, here IMGSZ is equal to 240. IMGSZ is equal to 240 for Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, now let's just run the code. So friends as you can see it's detecting me as a person there is a rectangle and it's working with raspberry pi 4 camera module simple so this is how friends you can simply you can simply use a uh, yolo object detection with the help of raspberry pi 4 camera module and raspberry pi any version we have let us raspberry pi 5 with uh, 60 16 gb ram also so you can use any of raspberry pi version so now as i mentioned we use here yolo 8 so now let's just say if you want to go with yolo yolo 
10 so yolo 10 n dot pt and yolo v 10 n dot pt let's just save the code and let's just run the code it will download yolo v 10 n dot pt model and then of course it will detect the object so as you can see it's downloading the model yolo v 10 n dot pt and then it will detect the objects simple so as you can see it will it will open the camera module frame so if i show my hand as you can see it's it detecting a person there is a person so then so we done with yolo 8 yolo 10 and then now we will go with yolo 11 so yolo there is no need to mention v now so v is only for yolo 8 and yellow 10 so if you go with yellow 11 so yellow 11 there is no need to mention yellow v 11 so yellow 11 and dot pt if i run the code it will download the model and it will detect the object same as you can see it's now downloading our model and the camera is started and as you can see person it's detecting simple so same way yolo 12 and it will download yolo 12 and dot pt model and it will detect the object so it's downloading now yolo 12 and dot pt It will start the camera module and now it is detecting me as a person simple so friends as i mentioned it's work slow because i have here raspberry pi 4 with uh, 4 gb ram simple so you can go with 8 gb ram and we have now 16 gb ram raspberry pi also so it will work really fast so this is how friends you can use yolo 8 to yellow 12 any object detection method with the raspberry pi 4 camera module remember one thing as i mentioned we need a numpy package we need numpy particularly version which i have mentioned inside imp.txt so we need this particular numpy version for running the camera module with uh, with basically the object detection so don't don't forget to install this command don't forget to install this command pip install numpy and this is the particularly version now we have our tensorflow also now what we can do we can simply convert our base model into t of light so for that i have mentioned this collab collab file as you can see so let's just open google collab and then we will upload this collab file and then we will convert our dot pt model into t of light okay so let me first open google collab so friends i have opened google collab just click on upload click on browse and we have to go in our home our repository and inside that we have our collab file click on select and it will now upload our collab file so friends we upload our collab file go to the runtime then change the runtime type select python 3 select 24 gpu click on save and then click on connect now we connected now simply run first cell which is the which is basically install ultralytics package so friends we install ultralytics package now scroll down and this is the main code where we are going to import our yolo then this is what the model yolo 12 n dot pt which i will convert with t of light for image size 240 here you can simply mention let's just say if you want to go with yolo v8 n so mention it yolo v8 n convert the yolo v8 n into t of light you if you want to go with yolo v10 n mention the model and convert it if you want to go with yolo 11 yolo 11 n and then just convert it but right now i will use yolo uh, yolo 12 n which is the latest model and then it will convert into t of light format and image size 240 so now let's just run the code and it will convert the model into t of light 
so friends we completed our process and our model is converted here it is as you can see the model is saved inside yellow 12 and save model so just click on this small folder icon and then here you will see yellow 12 and save model folder as you can see this one yellow 12 and save model just drop down and then this is what our model yellow 12 and float 32 tf light 10.13 mb model so just click on this three dot click on download and it will download our dot tf light model so we downloaded our model now let's just close all the things and go to the downloads this is what our model as you can see let's just cut it go to the home this is what our repository and then just paste it the model over here simple so because friends in this repository i have already mentioned the model as you can see because i have converted the model and i have saved the model inside repository for your use so there is already model that's why it says it's asked to replace so the, we convert the model but i have already mentioned converted model inside repository so simply right click rename and then just copy the name copy it cancel it and then here we will mention that model name model is equal to our t of light model we want to mention in single code like this way now let's just save the code and let's just run the code as i mentioned we install tensorflow for this t of light version now it will start the code remember one thing friends as i mentioned you need numpy particularly version which i have mentioned inside the imp.txt file so before all this you have to run that particular version otherwise it will create error simple so i think it will run and as you can see it's detecting the object and it's detected already the chair and now as you can see it's detecting me as a person with the help of yolo 12 yolo 12 dot t of light model so in next video i will create the custom object deduction model which we will convert to dot t of light and we will detect the custom objects using raspberry pi 4 camera module i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye